This guy with the African American Economic Recovery Think Tank. Yes, that's taking some time, huh? Uh, reaching out. I'm feeling good. Yes. Right now, I'm just reaching out to my people. When I say people, I'm talking about all over Jacksonville, Florida, and the United States. This message is really for the Caucasian community. Open yours, open yours. We need a we need a sheriff that want to get down in the trenches. Right, we need a sheriff that gonna get down in the trenches to deal with the situation that we have going on. What do we have going on? We have an opioid crisis that we are in denial about. And I'm talking about future uh, generation. Future generation. Because if we don't get control of these drugs, I'm talking about these opioids. These opioids, if you don't get control of them, I'm talking to the Caucasian community, we don't get control of them, it will, def uh, will affect the Caucasian community more than the African American community. Yes, it will affect the Caucasian community more than the African American community. It's very important that you understand that. So we continue with this, where we continue to talk about the uh, the drugs. Uh, no, when we continue to talk about the killing taking place in Jacksonville, that is a problem. Let me say it again, that is a problem. And we can definitely do something about it. We definitely can decrease it. We cannot stop it, but we can decrease it. And there's many ways we can decrease that. But you need leadership that's going to be open-minded. And what I mean by leadership that's going to be open-minded. Leadership that if you come to them with come to them with information that will make a difference. Ideas, strategy, and how to bring people together on one mission. One mission. We can decrease crime in Jacksonville. There's two types of crime. There's the intangible and the tangible. The intangible one had to do with the opioid crisis. That's very important. The one that's taking place in the opioid crisis. And then, then the, the other one is the tangible. That's where you see the murder rate. Right? So it's very important that people understand that, but uh, a lot of people don't really know what's going on because they're just hearing stuff. They're just hearing stuff. They're hearing stuff. Yeah, they're just hearing stuff. They're not, they're not making a difference. They're just hearing stuff. They're not engaged. Most people, most people, regardless of uh, uh, race, are not engaged until something happened to them. But that's why you need a sheriff with the right kind of team that can talk to the community yes about what's available to them and how we can work together and this burden is the only person can do that nothing nothing against a TK like I say I know both of them personally I know both of them personally but when it come down to it Miss um, Burden is the only one at this present time that can get the job done to bring the forces together, the team that you together that you need. That's what you need. That's right. That's what you need. She know how to bring the right team together. She don't let politics get in the way. She don't let race get, get in the way. She don't let income get in the way. And that's what we need in Jacksonville. That's what you need really in this country. And she understand that. But I know this, like I say, I know uh, both, no, no, both uh, TK and Miss Burton. Miss Burton, Miss Burton is the only one at this present time that can help decrease the opioids in Jacksonville.